Now to a string of recent earthquakes here in Southern California. The latest, a 3.9 magnitude quake at Lake Elsinore this morning. And shaking was felt in parts of San Diego County. It comes after an earthquake jolted LA this week. ABC 10 News reporter Moses Small explains what sets that quake apart from others. A magnitude 4.4 earthquake rocked Los Angeles on Monday, and the culprit wasn't the San Andreas fault that we usually associate with earthquakes in Southern California. Instead, it was the Puente Hills fault, an entirely different earthquake threat that could potentially impact San Diego. The Puente Hills fault stretches 25 miles from downtown Los Angeles to Pasadena and northern Orange County. Geologist Dr. Pat Abbott says that location could be a problem if that fault produces a bigger earthquake. So the site is a bad site geologically. You're sitting on top of a fault that's going to lift up the whole ground. And then we have a lot of old, brittle concrete buildings sit on top of all of this. So the potential for a disaster is, uh, ooh, it is bad. The U.S. Geological Survey says if there was a major earthquake on the Puente Hills fault, it could be one of the worst natural disasters the country's ever seen, killing as many as 18,000 people, causing more economic damage than Hurricane Katrina and even shaking up San Diego. And when can we expect a giant earthquake like that? Geologists don't know. What we know about when our large earthquake could come is zero, zip, nada. Now, Right here this year, we've been having a lot more of the magnitude 4.4 earthquakes than we've had in the last uh, few decades. And they do not tell us whether a big one is getting closer. So if an earthquake happens, drop, cover, and hold on. But until then, the best thing you can do is prepare. It's not the earthquakes for most people. It's what falls on you or is thrown at you. So look at your house. Secure things against the wall or things you have up high that are heavy. Put them down closer to the floor. In other words, rearrange things for if things start falling, they're not going to hurt you. Dr. Abbott says one of the best places to start preparing your home is the bedroom, moving heavy items like cabinets away from your bed. And you can also use all those same safety tips at work. Moses Small, ABC 10 News. We have more information about preparing for earthquakes under this story on 10news.com. Moses covers the environment and climate, foster care, and black communities. You can send him your story ideas by emailing moses.small at 10news.com or scanning the QR code on your screen.